All right, welcome. Well, now we're going to talk about some decomposition of functions. Decomposition of function is where you take a composite function and you're going to find out what the inner parts are. If you watched my previous videos, you would find out that I say that composite functions are like onions or ogres because they have layers. Yeah, I get that from Shrek and whatnot. But what we're going to do is we're going to peel back the layers and try to figure out what are the layers of different functions. Now, a lot of different functions um, can be decomposed, and they're pretty, pretty basic and simple. We'll start with some simple ones. Let's say g of x is a composition of f composed of g of x. I'll put x right there. And we'll say that this h of x in this case is equal to 2x plus 1 x minus squared. Now, what we want to do is we want to decompose this to find out what is the f and g function, f of x and g of x. Now, to figure that out, we need to think that f composed, now this is, means composed, all right, f is composed of g of x. So, when we're thinking about this, I think about the layers, or parentheses, as being the layers of the onion or the layers of the composition. So, from here, we can see that our inner layer inside the parentheses is g of x. Well, inside here, we see is 2x plus 1. So g of x is going to be 2x plus 1. When we peel back that layer, we're left with, well, you guessed it, x squared. So when we composed f composed of g of x, which gives us h of x, that would give us the quantity 2x plus 1, that quantity squared. Another one, if you want to know, that you see a lot would be like if we had, uh, let's get another one. Let's say h of x composed of f composed of g, again. But in this case, h of x is going to be the square root of 9 minus x. Okay? And well, once again, we have f composed of g of x. All right, well, we see that the inside, let me use a different color here, the inside is g of x. Well, the inside of this function is 9 minus x. So, we can say that f of x is the outside function, g of x the inside, and I like to start with the inside first. We see it's 9 minus x, and then when we take that out, we have the square root of x left over. Once again, an easy example of composition of functions. You see a lot of composition functions in calculus. You have to know how to do this for the chain rule and other different rules, um, and you see them quite often. You're actually surprised how many times you see different compositions. Well, another one that you might not even notice is like if you had um, h of x, let's say this equals uh, 4 over 5x plus 2 squared. Okay, 1 over 5x, 5 of x plus 2 squared. Well, this right here, if once again we said that f is composed of g of x. So once again, g of x is inside of f. Well, what function is inside of it? Well, this is kind of hard to see because you see this 4 sitting right here. What's going on there? All right. Um, but you do see the parentheses, and that's the key thing that I say. Onions, when I think of onions, I think of layers. When you think of layers, all right, here's an onion. If I did my bad drawing of an onion, you have that wonderful thing inside. Mmm. 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 That's kind of weird. But in any case, when you have that, what you have is a layer. And we see our parentheses, once again, tells us that g of x, our inside layer, should be 5x plus 2. Our outside is after we take out that outside, what's left over? We have 4 on top over x squared. And that's the composition. So, decomposition of function is taking out and taking away the layers of a composite function. Um, it's in very important when you do this. You use it in calculus with the chain rule and many other attributes. We'll do one more, just for you trigger lovers out there. A lot of functions, like for example, all right, we'll say h of x in this case is cosine of 5x plus pi. Well, here, if h, once again, is f composed of g, What is our inside function? Well, like if you follow my rule, right here, there is the inside layer. G of x is 5x plus pi. 
f of x is when you take that out, what's left over? We see the cosine of x. And that's a composition of function. See them all the time. Didn't even realize it, but functions everywhere are composed of each other. So I hope that helps you out with decomposition of functions, several different examples, and uh, hopefully this helps you in understanding how to do some other problems.